A couple of new things at Dollar Tree this past week that I want to share with you. Actually, some of these are more than almost a week and a half ago, but the first one is this Jot brand stencil wheel. Very interesting, never seen this before, and it's just what it says. It's kind of like a little wheel, and you can move your little tab to whatever stencil you want to use. I think this would be great for bullet journaling, card making, friend mill all kinds of things. There were a couple of different stencils. There was cute little owls and then there were some flowers. So very, very interesting and it would also be cute if you want to just draw like on presents um, using uh, like brown paper bag to wrap your presents and then you can make your own pattern. That's what I was getting at. Moving on, pineapple stuff and the teaching tree section. I think this is really cute. Never seen this whole set before and I wanted to show it to you guys. Then there was this whole Crayola section. I, what? Okay, this is amazing. Look at all of the Crayola stuff. Now in one of my last What's New, I showed you guys that I found green paint and it was just by itself. And here is the rest of it. I just was so blown away by this. I don't know how this is a dollar to be honest because a lot of Crayola products go for a lot more at Walmart. Can we talk about those neon crayons for a minute? I actually need to go back and pick up a couple and see how those work out because I just love neon. Next are these travel jars. I've never seen this style before. I think they look great, would be great for travel, but also for or organizing, especially things like sequins and buttons and little miscellaneous things that just float around too much. Found some new bags, uh, tote bags, and I wanted to include that in this video as well. The cheetah is just, she's so bougie, look at her. But really cute, couple of other little patterns I wasn't really interested in but I put them in this video so that you could see what I was finding. Next are these emoji pillows and they were huge. So hopefully you'll be able to see like my hand next to one of them, but they were pretty large pillows. I just could not believe them. These would be great kind of like if you use emojis as like gags, like a, as a joke between each other or something, like this would be just something really fun to get a friend or a kid or whatever. Then I found these little jars, these little prayer religious jars, and I've never seen those, so I definitely felt like they were new. And I only saw two different styles, so comment down below if there were any others that I missed. Next up are some movies. I don't spend too much time going through these, to be honest, but the blue crush on the left is what actually caught my eye, and these are Blu-ray. Blu-ray DVDs. I don't even understand how some of these even come to be here, but showing you some of them that I was finding, I didn't dig through this whole thing. I bet if I would have really just taken the time to be patient and go through them, I would have found probably a few treasures. I mean, My Little Pony for a dollar, any, any kind of movie that you know that you love for a dollar, I think is always going to be a an absolute steal. I found some holiday ones as well. That one was actually kind of interesting. This Good Witch, I really wasn't sure if this was like an episode or what this was. I couldn't quite figure it out. The Santa Incident, I don't really, never seen that movie. And Ray Charles and the Cheetah Girls, like the Cheetah Girls was, my daughter used to love that back, back when she was little and that movie came out. So that for a dollar is just crazy to me. And the next item is something that I actually showed you in my Dollar Tree haul, but they are these cookies. They are actually real cookies and they're decorative and they're gorgeous. There's a mermaid, a diamond, and even a unicorn. And I was blown away. Next up are these Glade scented what do you call these? I really don't know, sorry. But I feel like these have probably been around, but I personally haven't swung by like the cleaning section in a hot minute. But wow, I cannot believe Glade is at Dollar Tree for $1. And I know they've had products in the past, but I just don't remember this specific product, to be honest. Next up are these paper cups. If you've been with me for a while, then you know I used to be on the hunt for these a couple years ago. So obsessively, like I could not stop thinking about them. And I just stopped buying them for a long time because I bought washable ones from Walmart. But I saw these little patterns and I just could not get over how really cute that they were and I did go ahead and buy one you'll see it in an upcoming haul but I wanted to show you guys that they have new prints out there especially if you just need to pack something quick for work or in a long car ride and Christmas gift bags y'all know that's my 
that's just the ticket into my heart right there. Like, I don't even know what to say. I'm very excited to see what they're going to put out this year. The gift bags from a couple years ago were the best. So I really hope Dollar Tree outdoes themselves because last year I just personally did not think they were the best. So we'll see what they do this year. Next up are these mugs and I love like, I love cats, I love dogs. So if you're a cat person or a dog person, they have these cute new mugs for that. I have been running out of room for mugs at my house and I actually need to do a clean cleaning through and get rid of some of them but it's just so hard when you go to Dollar Tree and they put out some really cute new mugs. And the very last thing that I'm going to share with you, sorry about the footage in this, but they came out with these new picture frames. What? And three different color options as well, two very farmhouse. Uh, I think white and black are very modern, but then white and the green is very farmhouse. So lots of different colors to fit, probably, you know, a lot of different decor aesthetics that are out there, but holy moly. Anyway, that's pretty much it, you guys, for this What's New. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll see you again soon.